in this video I'm going to show you this wonderful antenna here now before I do do you remember this the little toys that you used to push down and they would spring up they would pop up <laughs> anyway this antenna it is a SMA 209 from Comet and I was very very happy with it up until this point it sits on the top of my uh, Anytone radio and uh, that's great until this rubber cap pulled off now I have to admit it's probably my fault that this cap would fall off because quite often if the uh, things on the table you go and you grab it by the aerial to pick it up which is not what you're supposed to do <laughs> however that said this uh, kind of rubber casing rubber sleeve came off and this comes off this little springy piece um, which is actually the antenna comes away from here so on here I noticed there is a small thread and you can wind it down but look what happens when you wind it down give it a little tug nothing so when that's flexing that's coming off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off of here I was first going to solder it but I don't think I'll do that because I don't want the heat to melt anything but the spring of, of this I'm going to pinch up slightly and see if it's strong enough to stay on there okay so here we go I'm first going to remove that SMA and it does if we can uh, focus on it at all but it does have uh, a small thread down the side there and on this spring I'm going to just pinch it up slightly just the bottom part just to see if it's going to be tight enough to uh, maintain a grip when flexed because that's what's actually bothering me so I'm just winding that on there now That's plenty tight enough. I was a little bit concerned there that uh, there wouldn't be enough connection and I'm thinking about you know you're walking around and it's making and breaking connection that can't be good for the radio but that is uh, that's got a good connection there now. Now my next worry is uh, is actually keeping this sleeve on what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use some Loctite 401 on this little section here which is about the best part of a centimetre I would say but uh, look uncompressed it just sits up, sits up high there right so I'm going to put some Loctite 401 and then slide that down hopefully that will stay on there I'm not really worried at this moment in time of damaging anything because the antenna's cheap enough to, to just to replace if there is going to be an issue. Now, instead of putting the uh, the Loctite um, Loctite 401 on here, I'm actually going to put it in here at the top part of the sleeve. Um, the reason being is when that slides, if it was on there, when it slides down, it will stick and lock pretty quick. Whereas if I stick it at the top part of here, that will be better time-wise as you're, you know, installing it on. Okay, so I'm just going to stick a couple of drops up here. It's harder to see, of course. All right, a couple of drop there. Up there. Can't see it. Right, so I've stuck three drops uh, up the inside there. I'm going to slide that in and very quickly push that down and hold it. 
just kind of rolling that in my fingers so that it makes uh, contact. So other than that, installation back on <laughs> installation back onto the radio. Nip it up. Job done. I'm happy with that. So this video, if you like it, or video, comment down below or thumbs up. Thanks for watching VA3SII. Bye.